Hey guys, how often, when looking at a person with an Asian appearance, do we think that they are Chinese? Chong Ching Kai? What? Uh, aren't you Chinese? No. Vietnamese? No. Thai? No. Mongolian? No. Japanese? No. Kalmyk? No. Bashkir? No. Yakut? No. I'm American. What? Well, not purebred American, of course, but American. So, if among our human race we confuse nationalities, then what can we say about animals? How can we distinguish them? That's what this video is about. Let's start with the cheetah, jaguar and leopard. If you see one of these wild cats, and besides wanting to run away as quickly as possible, but also want to find out who is hunting you, then here are some tips for you. If it happens at night, it is either a leopard or a jaguar, because cheetahs don't hunt at night. If the animal is sitting in a tree, then it's either a leopard or a jaguar, since cheetahs don't climb trees. And if you managed to jump into a car and started riding it, and after three seconds the kitty catches up with you, it is either a leopard or a jaguar. Nope, it's definitely a cheetah, because it's the fastest animal in the world and can reach speeds of up to 115 km per hour in 3 seconds. Actually, the cheetah is also outwardly different from its spotted counterparts. It's smaller in size, its body is slender and pumped up, fat-free. It's the only one with vertical black stripes from the corners of the eyes downward, along the cheeks and on the sides of the nose, and clear black spots on the body in the form of large dots are scattered in a chaotic manner and not forming any pattern. But with the leopard and the jaguar, it's more complicated, since they are relatives, so their similarities are much greater. They hunt both day and night, Hanging out both on the ground and in the trees, their spots are freaking chaotic. Well, they're actually called rosettes, irregularly shaped rings. So by these rosettes, you can tell them apart. Jaguar's black spots are gathered in rosettes of four to five pieces around the central spot. Leopard's coat is decorated with the same rosettes, but without the central spots. But if you can't freaking see from afar whether there are spots in the center of the rosettes, they can still be distinguished outwardly. Namely, the jaguar is larger, fatter, more massive, the tail and muzzle are lowered down. By the way, you can also tell them apart by the face. The leopard looks like he's stoned. The cheetah is always crying, so mascara flows down. And the jaguar is like a lion, only after the barbershop. Now let's move on to the hare and the rabbit. The hare is much longer than the rabbit. It has longer ears, longer legs, and perhaps something else is longer. But it's not a fact. The hare's hind legs are not only long, but also powerful. So it is many times faster than the rabbit. But why? Because the rabbit is a coward by nature, and the hare is sporty. So in case of danger, the hare runs away as fast as he can, and the rabbit relies on hiding somewhere and waiting or even digs himself a hole in a matter of seconds. The speed with which it digs is mega fantastically fast. But there is also a similarity between these two long-eared ones. If they both are pinned to the wall, they use their trademark punch. Are you saying those shorties have a deadly punch? Yep. They hit with their hind legs with a swing, and the punch is so strong that it can actually be fatal to the enemy. Also, to find out exactly which one of them is who, you can just wait for the winter and see that the rabbit, which never changes the color of the coat, will remain exactly the same. But the hair sheds with the onset of cold weather. It takes off the gray summer coat and puts on a warm snow white coat. So the hair, like a sniper in a snowdrift, knows a lot about camouflage. And as you already guessed, well, I hope you guessed, you're not stupid, are you? Rabbits live in burrows, but hares don't. Rabbits love hanging out in their burrows in groups. And of course, like at any party, they often, and with pleasure, doink and breed and then they multiply. And hares, well, it's not like they don't like burrows, but due to the lack of building education, well, or maybe due to the structure of the body, they simply don't know how to dig them. So they chill in a hole or under a bush. There, on soft grass, they doink and breed. When rabbits and hares have offspring, there is also a big difference. Namely, rabbits are born helpless, but hares are not. The rabbit gives birth in a burrow to 16 rabbits. Babies appear naked and blind, completely helpless. They feed on the milk of their mother, who is always there. Well, sometimes they just briefly jump out of the burrow to nibble the grass and immediately return so that nothing happens. So the rabbits depend on their mother for a long time, just like most of you. 
Yes, yes. Come on already. Go find yourself a job, a place to live, a soulmate. You're already 30. Enough sitting on your mother's neck. So, a hair gives birth to a pair of hairs in a hole on the ground. And the babies are ready for independent life from birth. They are covered with wool, they can hear and see. And all this is because the mother leaves them immediately after birth. Well, not immediately. The mother feeds them with milk once, hides them well in a hole, and then dumps them and leaves. But not somewhere like Bali with a new husband, but somewhere close to them. She keeps nearby, protecting them with all her hair power. As soon as the kids start nibbling the grass, the childhood of the hares ends, and the harsh life full of danger begins. At the same time, if a hare is running by and suddenly hears someone else's baby hares, she will definitely stop and give them some milk. But the rabbit will drive out the other rabbit's baby, or even kill it altogether. Well, and the last obvious difference is that if you suddenly decide to tame one of them, you won't have any problems with the rabbit. But the hare will tell you to fuck off. The sea turtle and the land turtle. If you for some reason can't tell them apart, well, I don't know, guys. What the fuck is wrong with you? I guess you won't be able to tell which one's an ass and which one's a finger. Okay, fuck it, you may not determine by the shape of the head. Let's say you didn't notice that the sea turtle, unlike the land one, can't hide in the shell. Let's say you haven't noticed that the shell of the sea turtle is streamlined, heart-shaped or oval, and that the shell of the land turtle is large like a house. But what about the limbs? <laughs> Don't they bother you? Obviously, the land turtle can't have fins. It has hefty, ugly legs. And the sea turtle has elegant flippers. Oh, come on, guys, be more attentive. Well, it was Brock from Broccoli Academy. And thanks for watching. Well, guys, I expect from your comments more animals in which you are confused. And I will also try to explain in detail who is who, so that you'll remember for the rest of your life, although you may never come across them. If this video turned out to be interesting and useful for you, then as always, give it your likes, subscription, comments and shares.